Hello friends. Welcome back. In today's video we are going to see about some more. Free RTOS APIs related to task. These are. VTask create static. VTask suspend. VTask resume. VTask delete. Atisk get state. We have already know about stask create function API as discussed in the previous video. Let us see about VTask create static API. Stask create a static, is an API in FreeRTOS that creates a new task and allocates memory for the task control block and stack using statically allocated memory. This is in contrast to stask create, which uses dynamically allocated memory. The advantage of using stask create a static, over stask create, is that it eliminates the possibility of heap fragmentation, which can occur when tasks are frequently created and deleted. Heap fragmentation can cause memory allocation failures and crashes, especially in resource constrained systems. The syntax of stask create a static, is as shown. Where? Das code. A pointer to the task function that will be executed by the task. PC name. A descriptive name for the task, which can be used for debugging purposes. A stack depth. The size of the stack in words. PV parameters. A pointer to the parameters that will be passed to the task function. UX priority. The priority of the task. Tasks with a higher priority will be executed before tasks with a lower priority. Stack buffer. A pointer to the buffer that will hold the task stack. The buffer should be large enough to hold the number of words specified by a stack depth. Stask buffer. A pointer to the buffer that will hold the task's control block. VTask suspend. This function suspends a task. A suspended task will not be scheduled to run until it is resumed using VTask resume. Syntax is as shown. Where? Stask Taja spend. It is the handle of the task to be suspended. VTask resume. This function resumes a suspended task. A suspended task will not be scheduled to run until it is resumed. Syntax is as shown. Where? Stask to resume. If is the handle of the task to be resumed. VTask delete. This function deletes a task. When a task is deleted. It is removed from the task list. And its resources are freed. The task control block and stack memory are automatically returned to the memory pool. And the task handle is no longer valid. Syntax is as shown. Where? Stask to delete. It is the handle of the task to be deleted. Atisk get state. This API returns the status of the task. Th syntax is as shown. Where? X task. It is the handle of the subject task the task being queried. Returns as an enumerated type the state in which a task existed at the time a disk get state was executed. Returns. The table shown lists the value that a disk get state will return for each possible state that the task referenced by the x task parameter can exist in. Value returned will be 0 for ready, 1 for running, 2 for blocked. 3 for suspended. 4 for task deleted. Now we will seal the code for using the API v task create static. We will use ESP32 and Arduino IDE for this. Let us go to the Arduino IDE. Define stack size as 1024 bytes. Define t stack variable of stack size 1024 as stack type. Define a buffer block. This is a task function which prints task running on serial monitor. Here is the task created using the API X task create static. Note the variables. Stack and task buffer and macro stack underscore size passed as arguments into this API. As usual task scheduler will start automatically. No code is required in loop section. Now we are ready to flash code in the ESP32 board. Connect your board to the PC or laptop. And go to tools and select the board and port. Go to sketch and press upload. 
After code uploaded, start the serial monitor. Now you can see task running message appearing on the serial monitor. Now this API is implemented successfully in the code. Let us see the code for using all these API functions. Define task handle 1 for task 1 and task handle 2 for task 2. This is task function 1 for task 1, which prints task 1 running in serial monitor. This is task function 2 which prints task 2 running in serial monitor. You can see the counter variable is increment every time the task 2 is executed. When counter value is 5 then the status of task 1 is printed. For this API e task get state is used. When counter value is 10 then the task 1 is suspended, using API v task suspend. When counter value is 15 then again the status of task 1 is printed. When counter value is 20 then the tassel 1 is resumed. Here v task resume API is used. When counter value is 25 then status of task 1 is printed. When counter value reaches 30 then task 1 is deleted using API v task delete. Again the status of task 1 is displayed on the serial monitor. In the setup section the task 1 is created by passing task handle as task handle 1 as the argument in the API. The task 2 is created by passing task handle as task handle 2 as the argument in the API. Now we are ready to flash the code. Go to tool select your board and port. Go to sketch and upload the code. When code is uploaded start the serial monitor. Now we can see both the tasks are running. Note the status of the task 1 is printed as 1 that means task 1 is in running mode. Here we can see the task 1 is suspended. Here task 1 status is printed as 3 that means the task 1 is in suspended mode. Here the task 1 is resumed again. Now status of the task 1 is shown as running. Here task 1 is deleted. And the status of task 1 is shown as deleted. That's is for the day. In this video we have some more API functions related to task. We seen about APIs like. Staskcreate static. Vtask suspend. Vtask resume. Vtask delete. Atisk get state. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video then please hit like button. Share this video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again. And have a good time.